Hi, this is Sahana. This video is part of the series in which we learn how to build an application using ASP.NET Core MVC and Entity Framework Core. You will find playlist link in the description. You can watch all the related videos. In this session, we are going to design side navigation menu. Right now, this is how our application looks. Just a quick recap, we are done with setting up repository pattern and entity framework core and we are using SQL Server as our database. In ASP.NET Core MVC application, we have a special file called layout file which decides the layout of the application. Here, we have views folder. Inside views folder, we have shade folder. Inside shade folder, we have a file underscore layout.cshtml. The layout file typically contains the common elements that are shared across multiple pages such as headers, footers, navigation menu and other static content. Let's take a quick look at this file. See, this is an HTML file. Inside this we have head section. Inside head section we have specified few meta tags and we have linked view style sheets. Next we have body section. Within this section we have designed a header. Then we have designed a content area and we have footer. Here we have designed navigation bar. See, here we have specified few classes. These are bootstrap classes. This section defines the main content area of the web page. In this section, render body method plays an important role. This method acts as a placeholder that will be replaced with the actual content of the view that's being rendered. Next, we have a footer section. Right now, it is looking like this. Let's modify this application to have a sidebar. I will remove this and I will add new code. Delete this and here is my new code. Let's save this. Now I will rebuild and apply changes. This is how it looks. You can copy code from my GitHub repo. Let's try to understand what we have here. The outermost div sets up full width container that adapts to various screen sizes. You can verify this. Just right click on the browser inspect see here you can see here we have container fluid here see this covers the whole area inside the container we have a div with classes row and flex no wrap row defines a horizontal row and the flex no wrap class prevents the item within the row from wrapping to the next line within this row there are two div elements this development sets up the left column and this development sets up the right column. Here you can see the first two sets up the left column. There we have our navigation menu and the second div sets up the content area. Within this second column, we have render body method. So this area is used to render the content. See, if you notice this unordered list is used to design the navigation menu. Each li element refers to each link. Here we have first li and we have home here. Next, next li we have list all and add employee. Again, here we have department and again we have list all and add department option. Here we are using anchor tag helper. Here ASP controller attribute specifies the name of the controller that will handle the request and ASP action specifies the name of the action method that will be invoked when the link is clicked. See, even here we are using anchor tag helper, but these links will not work. If I click on add employee, I will get error because there is no controller by name employee or there is no action method by name add. Inside controllers folder, we only have home controller. We do not have the see. Here we are referring to employee controller and department controller. Now we have to work on these controllers. That's it for today's session. Let's continue to work on this application in our next session. I hope the session was useful. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.